Okay, where we're going here. Feel the energy all around you. Oh, there are a bunch of hippies. No. Oh, the elevator's working again, guys. Here, at the dawn of life, as newborn souls freshly birthed by the planet, though the road ahead is unknown. Lift your gaze to the heavens. Since time and tell me, is it better to spread the teachings? <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? Give him the bird. The beauty of this place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. <laughs> just, just announce it to the world, man. I'm still shook that his voice is different than he actually speaks. He just pretends to, uh, to have a deep voice. Yo, what if I like one day just like out of blue? I started talking like this. This is my real voice. Yo, you guys, you guys would be so shook <laughs> after over a decade. If we have anything to fear, it is not our huh? fellow. I have man, a high voice. Nor any creature, big or small. With oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for Yo, looking after right, my this guy floats. My name is Wilkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about... 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good for nothing father. Ah, uh, oh, daddy oh, oh. issues. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Tell me my fortunes. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. That 
It's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. that little scamp. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though I suspect it can't detect much now. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Why is he always reaching for his sword? It's like a nervous twitch. That's the planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh, yes, that would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. This man just called us a liar. Straight to our faces. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Damn, those graphics. <laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, 
It is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But, what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. Oh, I... A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. If ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, Basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Where did everyone go? He straight up just left.
Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Oh, baby. Show me that purple box. Moogly medals. Whack ton of gill. Says it's below me, so within you all are the planet's thoughts. And this village is lame. Did you know none of the material here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. Professor Gast, tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same, wouldn't you? I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward? The river of life. Seminar. A seminar is in progress. I've um, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physics. Blessings of the planet upon you. Fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than welcome to do so. Spending all my time in According to him, a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks. And I was a burden on the planet, but... This place has cult vibes. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh... Where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. 
thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival. Wow, cold shoulder. What did I do wrong? Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. I don't know how my that other conversation didn't yield a better result. Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Ugh, should've known better than to get philosophical with you. Oh, come on. Come on.
so... I'm an ancient. As in, a steward of the planet. One of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Ready. Oh, they're a Mako sensitive. There, it is time. <sighs> Whoa. Sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. This is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. 
When I ask for their impressions, they often speak I of how beautiful it was. Some this play ceremony. they are even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... ...sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, Simply say the word. And off we go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. I do not remember this section whatsoever. <laughs> Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? I see. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. The heck is this? Have a shop.
you gonna watch my back? Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed... Need assess materia somewhere. For some reason Cloud had two assess materia on him. Why? I had no idea. Watchers respite. I gotta Wait, work on. I'm left to mourn their fates. No, just hog. Fire. the new voice I do not like it at all not lucky look here <sighs> such walls should be well within your power to climb what well, scamper Comfort is only in that field. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, somebody's a freaking terrifying. I know the many few people outside of the veil. The rest you will learn in due time. And we Bomb the healer. Here goes! this? Fire. Can't like this Go for it! About damn time! You got this! Don't worry about it! Good. Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Hey, where'd you run off? Don't worry, man. I will open 
open the doors for you guys. Like that one. Three mega potions. I only got two legs here, you know. healing stations right about now. Hey, where'd you run off to? Don't worry, Barrett. Relax, bud. Making hovering sounds. Damn if that doesn't look good. No! Fancy.
Sidewinder. Sidewinder building. Truth about daddy. Wish I could choose to use more than one of these at once. What the hell is that? Is a key. It's huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the key, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Now, Lucky, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. would call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Dang, level three healing materia? Sweet. Well, 
If it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Might as well grab everything, right? Everything's an item. Nay, that is not the relic. I know where it is. It's up there. Just relax. <laughs> that is but a mere bone. Yeah, that's so useful. That's craftable items. Manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us. The remnants of our past. You asked for it! How they keep you in your item just in case you can't do it yourself. Just lazy with items. Are these altars? Interesting, cause my first thought was, are we gonna make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Oh, 
Pauline, Daddy loves you. Is that it? <laughs> Not in the least. somewhere. What happens if I put them in the wrong order? Science. I only got two legs here, you know. Come on. alive. Yo, we're bathing in Mako. Too lazy to drop it and pick it up again. Oh, that's where that river went. If I would have fell down, I would have landed there. intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Gi themselves could. 
But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Vale, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice is more potent. Dude. We were looking for one it's party member. Definitely got ambiance. Do not allow fear to take hold of your heart. You are your own master, Nanaki. You and no one else. Never forget that. Look to the crevasse and the gates beyond. Pass through all to complete your trial. But that's easier said than done. Oh, boy.
disturbing. I guess I can make some. If I get a real pitch, I can make some ether with the item transmitter. So how are we supposed to open this thing? How it came? It is not a good one. Cover MP shards, that'd be fantastic. Y'all doing really nice! Here goes! That'd be so much better. Ah. You're mine! Ah. Oh. 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 How's this? Fear me! Yeah! Let's yeah. shake a leg! Oh, 
I see it. potions instead of ether here. Instead of magic points. Most 
press the one. Altars. Oh, there is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anarchy, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. himself the burden of our hope.
maybe I'll fly by Blizzard Materia. Looking for a, a linked one. A linked uh, bangle. sort of way so I'll get my ice on all right what do you got for us game Come on! 
Once again, stagger. We got it. Oi. Oi. 
rancor everlasting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. Dude, he's the worst one to bring so, to this fight. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. 